About to wash this off and put a mask on. <laughs> Hi, it's Tarina. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Today I want to talk about face masks. I have been really, really into face masks lately. Like, as many face masks as I can do, I am all on it. Yep. I'm going to go over some of my favorite face masks, some face masks that are local here to Guam, and also some face masks that you can mix up yourself. Let's just get into it. The first face mask I want to mention is by Asutra. I really hope that I'm pronouncing all of these right, but this is what it looks like. It's basically benzonite clay and you just mix it with apple cider vinegar. It is such a wonderful mask. I stopped using shampoos a long time ago and I switched over to this. I use it as a cleansing mask for my hair and it just makes my hair feel so nice. It always refreshes the curls. The thing I like most about this is that it helps remove toxins from your skin. When you're applying it as a face mask, it really, really tightens the pores and you can see such a difference instantly. I just take this and mix it with apple cider vinegar according to directions on the box and then I just mix it in a non-metal bowl and leave it on my face until it gets dry. I purchased this off Amazon. I'm not sure what other place sells it. The next face mask that I wanted to go over is this one by Ren. It's the Evercom. This is a ultra calming mask and it does just that. I recently just got done doing a chemical pill and after my skin peels, it gets pretty sensitive. So I've been using this to help with moisturization and also to keep my skin nice and calm and make sure that I don't have any random breakouts from the trauma that my skin just basically went through and is recovering from. This is pretty much my go-to mask if I have any sensitivity and if I have any random dryness on my skin, which is what I have right now. And I got this from Sephora. The second two masks I picked up from Ulta. You can find these at Walmart and other places, but this is a hot spring sauna mask and this one is the deep pore cleansing pill off. These masks are fantastic. The hot springs mask, it warms up when you put it on. So first you apply it and it has like this warm sensation on your skin. And after it does this thing, I leave it on for, it says 15 minutes. The mask on for around 15 to 20 minutes and it's just nice and calming on the skin. And after it does its thing, you can massage it into your skin and it gives some nice exfoliation and then you rinse it off. The other one is the Spearmint version but this one is a cleansing peel-off mask. So this is the men's version, but I like it so much that I don't even care. It doesn't even matter. A mask is a mask is a mask. This one has a cooling sensation on the skin. So that one was warming and this one is cooling. You just put it on your skin, let it dry, and you peel it off. It's pretty, it's not super intense, but it's intense enough to help remove blackheads and whiteheads from your skin. It's a really great mask. You can get these from Amazon, Ulta, and they also have a website. So I'll list these down below. I'm not really sure how to pronounce the brand name of this, so I'll make sure to list it for you guys. The next one is a charcoal mask, and this one is by Glam Glow. This one is pretty much my holy grail mask. Anytime I have a blemish and I'm not doing the bentonite clay, I turn to this one. This is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. I don't know why I struggle with that. <laughs> I buy it in the mega size because I use it. It is really nice. It also has like a tinkling sensation with it. I leave it on overnight if I have a blemish and the blemishes are pretty much gone. The next two masks are by Origins. The first one is the retexturing mask with rose and clay. And then the other one is the drink up intensive overnight hydrating mask with avocado and Swiss so many things. I really like both of these masks. The retexturizing clay mask is a pink mask and it does get tight on the skin but it also has exfoliation before you rinse it just like the hot spring one. The thing about this brand is they do use a lot of fragrance so if you're sensitive to that I probably would stay away from this as well as these. I think that fragrance definitely helps with the spa experience. Even though my skin is sensitive, the fragrance really doesn't bother me in any of these masks. The other one is the Drink Up Intensive. This mask is extremely moisturizing. It's an overnight mask, but you can pretty much use it anytime, especially during winter months. Anytime your 
skin feels super dry. Next two things are not masks, but I call them my companion mask products. <laughs> the first one is hyaluronic acid. This one is by The Ordinary. After you wash your face and it's nice and wet, apply hyaluronic acid and then your favorite mask. It helps the skin absorb the mask so much more. I use this technique when I'm doing any type of moisturizing mask. It just intensifies the effect so much. My other companion mask product is these brushes right here. They're foundation brushes and no one really tends to use these except makeup artists and estheticians. Barely. These brushes are so great to apply masks. This is just a random generic brush that I think I got from a makeup show. This one right here is just really flat and white and it's just so perfect to apply a mask. That way you don't have to get it all under your nails. I have natural long nails and I... Nobody has time to be getting all the masks from under the nails, especially charcoal masks. It takes so long to get all of the mask out of your nails. Anyways, these ones right here are so great to apply masks. So next time you do a mask, try using your foundation brush. The next three masks that I'm going to discuss are pretty much local to Guam. I try to find them on Amazon. If I can find them anywhere else, I will link it down below. The other ones are sheet masks. Now, I really do like sheet masks, but I don't think all sheet masks are created equal. Oh my God. Oh my God. I like sheet masks that has like a jelly type of consistency to the mask, not cloth. The two that I wanted to discuss is this one by Tony Molly. This is the Intense Care Gold 24 Karat Snail Hydro Gel Mask. I feel like I have a lot of hydrating things here. I do. Hydrating masks are life. This one is really nice. And the reason why I like this one also is because depending on your face size, your eye shape, your nose shape, this one will fit you because it's cut in half. So you have the top portion and then the bottom portion. Any type of gel mask like this, I like to put it in the refrigerator and then apply it to the skin. It just gives such a cooling, calming effect to the skin and it's just Mm, such a good spa experience. The next mask is the Waterful Balm Mask, and it is also a gel type of mask, and it also has the split in the mask, so you could apply the first section and then the second section. This one is the moisturizing one, but they also have one for oil control. These masks are really great, and I also put this one in the fridge to get the full effects of the mask. The very last mask is so random, but I just love it. This is the neck wrinkle patch. This is the neck wrinkle patch. So that little wrinkle that comes under your neck. I don't know if it does all that much long term, but for short term, it does leave your neck really nice and moisturized. And it also has that gel type of consistency. When I'm having a spa day, I have my neck patch, I have my gel mask, my natural hair pulled back, and I'm just living my life. So that's about it, you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what mask you're loving right now, and let me know what mask I should try next. Don't forget to check out my website, itstarina.com. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, all the socials. It's Tarina everywhere. I hope you are staying safe, happy, and healthy. Bye, guys.